Thank you for choosing the Russell Hobbs bread maker. Over the course of this video, we'll be taking you through the various features and uses of this quality kitchen appliance. When unpacking the bread maker for the first time, you will find the following items. The bread maker with hinged lid, view window, LED control panel and power switch. A bread pan with lid, kneading blades, a hook for lifting hot lids after baking, as well as a measuring cup and spoon. When unpacking, check all parts and accessories are complete and free of damage, then plug the unit in, turn it on and set to bake. Bake the empty unit for 10 minutes and allow it to cool down. Your bread maker is now ready to get cooking. Ensure that the bread maker is switched off. Open the lid and remove the loaf tin by holding the bread maker down with one hand and pulling upwards on the loaf tin handle firmly. Check that the loaf tin is clean and fit the kneading blades to the shaft in the bottom of the loaf tin. When adding ingredients, be especially careful to observe the correct order and volume of the ingredients. As if the yeast comes into contact with liquids too soon, it may activate too early. As a guideline, always add the liquid first, following the order in the recipe. Always use the supplied measuring cup and spoon to obtain accurate amounts. Once ingredients have been added, clean any spillage off the outside of the loaf tin and lower it gently into the bread maker, making sure not to spill anything into the bread maker and ensuring that you push the loaf tin down past the spring clips. Finally, close the lid. Use the switch at the rear of the machine to turn the bread maker on. To start a program, press the start stop button once. A short beep will be heard and the two dots in the time display will begin to flash and the program will start. To stop the program, press and hold the stop start button for three seconds. A beep will be heard indicating the program has been stopped. The menu button is used to select different programs as labeled on the machine. Each time it is pressed, you'll hear a short beep indicating the program has been changed. For some of these menu items, it should be noted that the unit will preheat until the temperature reaches 25 degrees. The color of crust setting can be used to select whether you require a light, medium or dark colored crust. It is also possible to delay the start of a program, for instance to allow the machine to start in the night and be ready by morning. To set this, set the delay time by pressing time plus or time minus. This delay should include the baking time of the chosen menu. Once set, press the start stop button as normal to activate the delay program. The maximum delay time is 13 hours and it is important not to use any perishable ingredients in the delayed menu. When the bread maker completes its program, it will beep to let you know that it's finished. When complete, the bread maker will automatically keep the bread warm for one hour. After this time, 10 beeps will be heard. To turn off the keep warm function when you are ready to remove the bread, press the start stop button. Put on oven gloves and open the lid. Then hold the bread maker down with one hand and pull the loaf tin handle firmly upwards to release the tin from the spring clips. Turn the loaf tin upside down and shake to release the bread. Check to see if the kneading blades have come off with the loaf and remove if stuck in the bread. Place the bread on a wire tray to cool. The following recipes will give you some ideas of where to start with your Russell Hobbs bread maker. Good luck and enjoy this quality product from Russell Hobbs.